Good morning, year one. How are you? I hope you're really well and I hope you've had a nice weekend. It is Monday, the 18th of January. How did we get to the middle of January? Where has the time gone? So, shall I tell you what we've got in store for today? I have planned some maths and some English and art and PE. Now, remember, you don't have to do everything. You just do what you can. Okay. For maths, we are making 10 to add. So we are adding two numbers together and because the numbers are going to go over 10, we're going to make 10 first. So for example, we might have numbers like nine plus three and that turns into 10 plus two. Now, that might not make a lot of sense without all the pictures in front of you. So I do suggest you get some 10 frames. Now you can print these. I've put um, a link on the, on the homepage to print some 10 frames, or you can just draw them out. And if you use counters or beans or coins or Lego or something to help you with that, um, it will really help. But when you watch the video, it will make a lot of sense. That's our maths. Now for English, there are three parts. We have our handwriting and today we're doing capital letters and we're doing straight line capital letters. So we're going to do the letter T and the letter I. Okay, phonics, click on the same website links as last time and you need to choose the right videos for your set. So we, I want you to do your reading and your spelling and hold a sentence, okay? Now, if you've got time and only if you've got time, we've got a new story this week. It's called The Queen's Hat. It's lovely, it's really funny. Uh, it's a really good adventure all over London. So click on the video to watch me reading this story and there is an activity to go with it. But remember, only if you've got time, okay? In the afternoon, you can click on the links to some PE sessions and then there's an art session. Now this is a whole school art session. So if you have older brothers and sisters in school, you can do it together. And it's based on an Italian artist this time and he was really famous for making faces, painting faces, um, but the faces are made out of fruit and vegetables. It's very funny. So have a look at the um, document on the page and have a look at some of his pictures and then I want you to see if you can make your own a bit like the artist, Giuseppe Archimboldo. Okay, have fun today. Email me your work at the email address on the remote page. Okay, have a good day. Bye.